Hello, here we are with a hands-on with the newest BlackBerry device. This is the DTEC 50, and this is BlackBerry's second Android smartphone. This is your more typical slab-style uh, device in comparison to the Priv, which was their first Android device that had the slide-out keyboard. Now, a little disclaimer, this DTEC 50 that we have here is a pre-production sample so um, although it has officially been announced there are a few small differences on this device compared to the final production version the primary thing being the color around the edges here we've got sort of an all uh, black kind of a gray finish here there is actually a silver trim on the final production model but let's take a look at the device nonetheless I'm not going to go too much into the OS on here because Android has been explained a lot uh, in other videos on the web, including our YouTube channel. But let's take a look at this device itself. So first of all, starting with the display, we've got a 5.2 inch full HD display. It's got scratch resistant glass and a pixel per inch count of 424. So it's a decent size screen. It's not massive, but it's not small and certainly on par with a lot of the devices available on the market today. The uh, profile of the device is quite slim. It's 7.4 millimeters in thickness. And as I move to the bottom here, you'll see we have a micro USB port on the bottom. We have a microphone just here. On the left side of the device, it's fairly uh, vacant of buttons and controls. We've just got the power button right up here in the upper top corner. On the top of the dice, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We then have another microphone. You may also notice we've got a little antenna uh, there as well. And then on the right side, we've got the volume up and down keys. We then have what is the convenience key on the uh, DTEC 50 here. We then have another hole here. It's not a microphone. It's actually the release for the SIM card tray and micro SD card slot. When you pop in a pin into there, this will release uh, this bit and you can access those ports there. Looking back at the front, you'll actually see there's a bit of a, a recess between the screen and the frame here. This is for the front facing uh, speakers. And that design theme is actually carried around to the back as well. It looks really quite smart actually and gives it a little bit of a premium feel. On the back here, we've got a 13 megapixel camera with autofocus and dual LED flash. We've got the BlackBerry logo and we've got a back cover here that is extremely grippy. It feels really good to the touch. It doesn't feel like this device is going to slide out the hand. Lots of good texture uh, to it there. It's sort of a hard plastic with an sort of soft touch to it it's not uh, you know awful to the touch it and actually I, I really like it you know the the glass and everything you get on a lot of phones and the metal is great to a point but this feels like it's going to stay in your hand nice and firm your fingers can really grip onto it I really like the uh, frame around the edge here it adds uh, a bit of class and, and style and the silver on the final production one will look very smart as well on the front, we have an eight megapixel front facing camera. We have a notification light and then the various sensors here. So it's full touch screen, no physical buttons in terms of interacting with the operating system. And this is Android 6 installed on here with a few BlackBerry customizations that we'll come on to in a moment. Built inside of this is a fixed internal battery. It's 2,610 milliamp hours. There's 16 gig of internal storage and three gig of RAM. So it's mid-range specification uh, built into this handset, but enough to uh, get you up and going. And the device is £275 inclusive of VAT for a SIM-free model at time of recording. So taking a quick look at the software then, um, Android 6, as I mentioned, but BlackBerry have made their own customizations. So if we go into the app drawer here, you haven't got lots of uh, additional apps on here, but you've got a few of BlackBerry's, including BlackBerry Hub, you've got BBM, you've got DTEC by BlackBerry, which we'll come to in just a moment. You've got Content Transfer, you've got all of your normal Google services, but you've also got a Password Keeper. You've got Watch Docs and Waves Max Audio, which allows you to change the sound profile uh, of the device. You've also got uh, some tasks and notes applications included. You've got your sort of standard widgets, which you'd expect. 
What I really like and makes the BlackBerry stand out for me um, over and above a lot of other Android devices is all of these shortcuts. Now, these aren't hard to necessarily create on other devices, but they exist already on here for you. So it's really simple to um, get up and running basically and make your life just that little bit easier. So compose a BBM, compose an email. You can add these shortcuts to home screen. You can search for things uh, here nice and easily just by typing in uh, bits or, or characters that may help you find what you're looking for. You've got options in the way that it views um, here, so the icons and the wallpaper and much more. Of course, you can control the layout uh, of your home screen, so the icon packs, widgets and wallpaper. You've got all of that flexibility that you would expect. You can slide down for your notifications further to get through to quick shortcuts that are fully editable here, so you can actually um, change which shortcuts appear um, there so you can have it perfectly to your liking. Let's quickly delve into the settings before we look at some of the custom elements of the device here. So if we just go and have a look at the device here, Android 6.0.1 is the model number STH100-2. So it'd be a SIM-free model we have here at Clove. So let's take a look at the memory in this device. 16 gig installed in the handset out of the box. Around about nine and a half gig is available. We've got a few photos and media on this device. Um, so not the maximum amount of memory you um, can kind of get on an Android device, but um, enough to keep you up and running. And you've got the micro SD card slot in the side of the handset here that allows you to expand that further if you need it. Let's look at the convenience key. So that's the button on the right hand side of the device. You can configure that to your liking uh, by setting this up within the settings here. So we've already assigned an action uh, for it here. So if we press and hold on that, we've activated the torch, press and hold again, and it turns it off. Um, so those are nice features to have if you're constantly accessing certain things, that button can really help you there. You've got uh, advanced interactions on this device, small touches like turn over to mute so the phone's ringing, turn it over and that will mute the call. Double tap uh, the screen to turn it on and things like that. Obviously your normal Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, that's all part and parcel of this device. Uh, you've got uh, tethering as an option as well and wireless hotspot. Let's jump into a couple of the apps here. I'm not going to go to them, uh, into them in too much depth, but BlackBerry Hub is one of the standout features of this device. It allows you to access various different accounts all in one place to certainly have a unified sort of inbox, if you like, for your call logs, your emails, and all your different accounts that you can set up on here. So if, be it a Google account, a corporate exchange account, it can all be added, and you can kind of see uh, all those different accounts in one place, and it's really easy to access the content and manage them without having to jump between different apps. Now, it takes a bit of a learning for some people, but you have uh, the flexibility there and there's advanced integration with other third-party apps uh, such as WhatsApp and Slack and a, a few others. So um, the options there will vary for different users. DTEC by BlackBerry um, is one of the big kind of features of the BlackBerry devices. The Priv uh, has made a name for itself for privacy and BlackBerry aims to keep that up, rolling out monthly updates to the DTEC devices. Uh, so this is a monitor essentially that gives you a rating of how good the security is on your device and what you can do to improve it. So you can see from here uh, what could be improved, what apps are accessing, what things on your device, and you can change all those settings and give back control to yourself uh, and just be a little bit more aware. So it gives you an idea of just how secure your device or is or isn't uh, potentially uh, there. So on the device, there is a 13 megapixel camera on the rear. You go into the camera, you've got a fairly standard sort of setup here as you can uh, expect all your HDR, you've got your uh, screen ratios, uh, you can control the flash, you've got different uh, modes, so photo, video, panorama, different uh, shooting effects here and things there for a little bit of customization. Being Android, of course, you've got lots of different options in third-party apps. Here's a couple of sample images we've just taken on the camera. They're okay. Um, not the best photos in the world, but the, the detail is there. Fairly uh, good colors. They're not oversaturated. They're not particularly washed out. Uh, you've got zoom control options. Overall, you know, pretty impressive, pretty um, reasonable for a device of this type. Good, solid photos for a mid-range handset. 
So the device is also quick charge too compatible because with the 2610 milliamp hour battery whilst it should sort of last an average user through a day if you do need extra power you can get that from it. So that's a quick hands on with a pre-production unit of the DTEC 50 available from clove.co.uk. Thanks for watching.